In this video, I will show you how to use scripts in InDesign on Windows. For Mac OS, see the link in the description for another video of the same instructions for Mac OS. A great feature of InDesign is its Scripts panel. This feature makes it easy to manage and run scripts. To open the panel, go to the Window menu, Utilities, Scripts. Scripts that appear in the panel are divided into three categories, Application, Community, and User. You can put scripts in any of the categories, but I suggest you put scripts in the User category. However, the User Scripts folder is difficult to locate because it is under User Preferences, which are hidden from view and require special steps to make visible. Fortunately, InDesign has an easy way to open any of the script folders directly from the application. In the Scripts panel, select the User category in the list and right click the mouse. The choice Reveal in Explorer appears. Click and the User Scripts folder opens. Notice in the open folder there is another named Scripts panel. That is where to put the scripts. Start by opening the folder. Copy script files to this folder and the scripts appear in the Scripts panel. Then to run a script, double click its name in the list. It's that easy. To demonstrate, I'll add and run a script I have in my Downloads folder. Here I have a script, Links Report. Copy the script to the Open Scripts Panel folder. If on the same drive, to copy hold the Control key while dragging, otherwise the file is moved. But if you want to move the file, don't hold the Control key. Your choice. It's not necessary to restart InDesign. The script is ready to run. Let's try it out. Back at InDesign, now you can see the script appears in the Scripts panel. For this demonstration, we'll open a document with links to report. I have a test job in my Downloads folder. We'll open the document. In the Scripts panel, select the Links Report script and double click to run it. And the script runs. In this case, a dialog is displayed, the script's interface. I won't go into its details in this video. I'll just use the current settings. Click OK and the script completes. In this case, the result is in the folder of the InDesign document. Back at File Explorer, you can see a report file has been generated. Let's double click the file and have a look. The script has produced a list of graphics placed in the InDesign document, along with useful details. This is just one example of many useful scripts for InDesign. And now you know how to add them to your scripts folder. You may also assign a keyboard shortcut to scripts. Go to the Edit menu. Keyboard Shortcuts. In the Product Area drop-down list, Select Scripts. Scroll through the list and find the desired script. Once selected in the list, click the New Shortcut Input field. Press the desired keyboard combination, which is then displayed. If not currently assigned, you may proceed. Click Assign. Now the keyboard combination launches the script. Another useful feature of the InDesign Scripts panel is that you can copy a shortcut to the folder. This enables sharing scripts among multiple users by storing scripts on a network volume that all users can access. For example, I have a folder of scripts on my server. Make a shortcut of the folder. Now copy that to the InDesign Scripts folder. Back at the InDesign Scripts panel, now you can see, an entire library of scripts is available. Repeat this for other users on the same network 
and then everyone is using the same script files. The benefit is that a single collection of scripts can be maintained from a central location rather than having to push revised scripts out to all users when any are updated.